Hello everybody. Welcome back to the lecture. In today's lecture, we will discuss about mass transistor as a fluid model. In this fluid model, the electrical charge is considered as fluid. Because it is a fluid, it can move from one place to the other depending on the difference in the levels. Consider we don't put any effort to have uh, a great flush of our tap uh, from the tank. We'll have overhead water tanks. From the overhead water tanks, water comes with a large force without putting any effort because of the potential difference. Here also, <coughs> the electrical charge which is considered as fluid can move from one place to other place only when there is a difference in the levels. When the uh, levels are different, their potential will be different. So it can make a move. So electrical potentials can be mapped into geometry of the container in which the fluid can move around. So potentials can be mapped as a geometry of the device then only we can have a variation in the potential levels uh, then the fluid can be made to move now <clears throat> the shape of the container is defined by the potential along the silicon surface if the container is like a diffusion uh, source or drain that will be defined by its shape if see uh, drain and source are moderate uh, have will have moderate depth if for example if you want to represent a large potential you need to show a deeper uh, diffusion the higher the potential the deeper is the con container and more charge can be stored in it The changes in the surface potential increases the quantity of charge and decreases the positive surface potential under mass electrode. And we should know that, we should understand that the amount of charge accumulated in a mass capacitor is proportional to the voltage applied between the plates and the area between the plates. If the area is very little we cannot expect uh, the container being large when the container is large obviously the area of the con uh, container will, uh, area will be large when the area is large we will have large capacitance large capacitance results in uh, when handling large amount of charge now the mass capacitor uh, can be realized like this we will have a polysilicon or metal gate on the above in the um, bottom side we will have a channel these uh, upper uh, conductor and bottom conductor are separated by the gate directly so this structure is like a capacitor and we call it as a mass capacitor gate capacitor if you add two diffusions on either side of this gate capacitor that will become a mass transistor now <clears throat> when you apply a positive voltage when you apply a positive voltage on the gate that will triple the majority charge carriers of p type silicon which are holes from this place uh, uh, because of the repulsion these holes will move away from the uh, silicon dioxide interface now the minority charge carriers of the substrate which are distributed all around this uh, substrate will be attracted to the place underneath the gear structure forming n type material which is called as inversion so 
after inversion it will act as a capacitor now the mass capacitor along with the drain and source is called a mass transistor in this mass transistor the voltage vsv the voltage vsv is the voltage applied to the source with respect to body vgb is the voltage applied to the gate with respect to body and vdv is the voltage applied to the drain with respect to body and body potential will be at zero now <clears throat> if you see the same fluid model to understand the mass transistor operation we can consider two cases case one is when gate potential is zero when gate potential is zero there won't be any channel and there is no question of movement of charge carriers from drain to source when gate potential is above vt then only channel will be established between drain and source and we can talk about the movement of charge carrier from drain to source or source to source to drain now in case a if you see here vsb is equal to vdb when both the potentials are same as just now we have discussed for a water or the liquid to move from one place to the other place the level potential level should change when both the potentials are same we cannot expect the current from source to drain or to drain to source can take place so it won't move as you can observe from this diagram even though there is a channel there is no movement of current unless there is a difference between the potentials vsb and vdb there won't be any current now in case 2 vdb is made slightly higher than vs by an amount of delta then you can clearly see that there is a level difference between source and drain and a current movement a charge carrier movement takes place which is represented by an arrow uh, in the side diagram this arrow represents the movement of current because of the high potential here and low potential level here in this side now in the second case vdb is greater than vsb the level is raised further away further more than the channel now the flow of current will be larger compared to the case to the previous case from the previous case now in this case large current is moving because there is a large difference between these two potential levels now the third case is vdb is greater than vgb and vt this is called as saturation condition where channel length modulation takes place or we can simply call as pinch off of the channel takes place this is how using the uh, fluid model we can explain the operation of a mass transistor mass transistor hence it can be concluded that a mass transistor can act as a voltage control device why because every current even though the channel current uh, is controlled by the gate voltage gate voltage along with drain and source potential potential wherever we are talking about uh, the operation we always have to talk about the voltage so mass transistor acts as a voltage control device the device will uh, the device operation can be governed by the two highlighted equations which are shown here as the drain voltage is increased with respect to the source 
the current will increase uh, now that amount of uh, where the condition is VDB is equal to VGB minus VT which is called as effective gate voltage the drain voltage VDB is when the drain voltage VDB is greater than VGS minus VT then the channel becomes pinched off which we are calling it as saturation region and the previous case we are calling it as active region this this we are calling it as resistive region and this we are calling it as saturation region i hope you understood the topic uh, thank you